we are going to work on some ball control today. First we're going to get your bodies warm and uh, then we'll finish with a drill that we'll finish with a lot of times when we do this video. The first thing you will need is two cones or two markers. We have two cones so we're using those. If you don't have cones, grab two of anything, two rocks, two basketballs, two hats, two of anything and then you're going to spread them out about six big steps apart from each other like this and then come stand at one end. We'll have Ella on this end without the soccer ball. Wait for a moment for you to do that. Now to warm up, it's gonna be a simple jog around the two cones. This is just nice and easy, Ella, go ahead. And you're gonna do this three times. Just around those cones three times. That's one. Three. Now you can wait over there. You don't need a soccer ball yet. We'll wait for a second because uh, everybody's going at their own pace. So that's when we go around the cones. The next thing I want you to think about is when you do a, uh, a figure eight or a weave, a figure eight, you're always crossing in the middle. So you cross here, go around. Cross in the middle, go around. So you're going to do that three times as well. So Ella, go ahead. Cross in the middle go around. Crosses in the middle, go around. And you'll notice if that was an eight on the ground, she's making that figure eight pattern. All right. This time, we're gonna get nice and low, almost like a basketball drill. We're going to get low facing one way slide without our feet crossing just to get our body warm. We're gonna go back and forth three times. So Ella, go ahead. Sliding low, don't cross your feet. Sliding low. One. Two. Great, great. All right, last thing we are going to do is just put a little more effort into it. It's not a sprint, but it's a little more effort in those laps around. So she, I don't need to show you. She's gonna do three more good laps. Go ahead, Elf. And then after this, your body will be warm. All right. All right, now that we're warmed up, we're going to do some ball control right now. First thing we're going to do is our toe taps. When you do a toe tap, and you can just scoot ahead of the cone like Ella did, when you're doing your toe tap, toe is on top, not your entire foot, but your toe. Also, that foot on the ground, your toe is down, but your heel is up. So do it slowly with us. One, two, three, get that balance. All your weight should be on that foot on the ground. Your toe on top should be able to move the ball. So all your weight is on that foot on the ground. Now we're going to go a little faster. Ten toe taps at your own pace, but make sure that heel doesn't get down. I don't know what number we're on either. All right. Now we're going to do the uh, that bell drill. Ball goes back and forth. Dodger. When you're doing this, the ball goes back and forth. And notice those taps are with my toes for control. So go ahead. to the cone if you've moved it all. Go back to toe taps. And just keep going till I tell you to switch. All right, stop. Back to the bells.
All right, go ahead and stop. Go back to the cone. Next thing we're gonna work on is our pullback. Start in front of that first cone, and you're gonna dribble, I'm doing it slowly now, but you're gonna dribble in front of that other cone. Toe on top, pull it back, not so that it goes all the way back to the wall or the cone, but so that you can turn around and then control it again and dribble back over. So a little faster, I come out to the cone, toe on top, pull back, dribble back. So we're gonna do that uh, for five to 10 times. I'll go ahead and start. You go ahead and start as well. All the way to that cone, pull it back. All the way to that cone, pull it back. And this is a move you can do on the soccer field. Someone's trying to take that ball from you, you pull it back, go the other way. If you can once in a while, peek up because the defenders are all around you. Get that tap in and then get those eyes up. All right, go ahead and stop and head back over to your cone. Now we're going to do, go back to our figure eight pattern. With that figure eight pattern, I'm gonna ask you to walk that figure eight first without the ball. So Ella, follow me. Remember, cross in the middle, go around, cross in the middle, go around, and then you'll end up every time on this side over here as you go around. One foot only is touching the ball. So let's pick our right foot, most of you are righties, your right foot only is touching the ball. Pretty simple when you come across here, but as you get to this side, notice how you'll have to control it with the outside of your foot as you come around. Middles are a little easier. Remember, if you're using your right foot only, don't ever save it with your left. Right foot only. Outside of the foot as I'm coming around, making that figure eight pattern inside over here. All right, go ahead. And don't worry about counting how many times you're gonna go. Just keep going. Right foot only. Make a mistake, no problem, just keep going. This side of the, good, cross over. Outside of the foot when you're going around. If you don't have any grass, it may be nice to flatten the ball a little. Because if the ball's too pumped and you're playing on cement, it will just roll away. All right, back to that cone. Now you're gonna do that left foot only. So same exact drill, figure eight, go ahead and start. Left foot only. You'll wanna use that right once in a while, but don't. Left foot only, keep going. All right, switch back to the right, no matter where you are, switch back to the right and keep going. Right foot only. So there will be times you're using the inside of the foot. There will be times you use the outside and like Ella just did, a pullback to get it back under control is perfect. All right, to the left now. So same figure eight, you're on your left foot now. Ella found the palm bush, palm tree. Left foot only. All right, go ahead and stop where you are. All right, the last thing we're going to do, and we're gonna finish with this a lot, is just working on that ball control nice and easy on top of your foot. So what we're trying to do is kick that ball up right back to you. It will go all over the place at first, 
If you lift your foot all the way like that, you're going to kick the ball way too far. Control the ball. Try to keep it right in front of you. Today, and this is the end of practice, today, when you catch two in a row, you are done with practice. So you have to toss, kick, catch, toss, kick, catch, two in a row, and I would be done. There's one for Ella. Didn't catch it, so she's going to start over. And you could begin as well. All right. Good practice, everybody. We'll see you next time.